Hello everybody, this is Zerta with Zerta MTG, and I'm back at it again today with some more Arena Cube Draft. I suppose I've already uh, drafted the deck, I'm doing an experiment to see uh, if people seem to prefer the draft section staying in, or the video without the draft where we jump more uh, directly into the games. Um, personally, I prefer it with the drafting in, but I'm not entirely sure how uh, everyone else feels, so just going to do a quick glance over of what we have here so that you'll know what we are playing at least and that is the deck let's go ahead and jump right on in we're basically going to be a uh, big mana blue red kind of uh, threat heavy Got a lot of planeswalkers, uh, got a lot of uh, big spells, try and survive the early game, and take over in the late game. Removal spell, card that's not good until late, unless our opponent's an aggressive red deck, at which point, hey, it's a blocker. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this has definitely got to be a mulligan, right? I have just two dead cards in my opener. This one I'll keep. What do I not want? I suppose Storm's Wrath in this hand. A Crow in War uh, is already a kind of Wrath. I mean, I'm gonna play it on turn one. I might be able to eat up one of their uh, removal spells. one of our least threatening uh, threats. Ooh, you drafted Flash. I don't know if you should have uh, been that spectral sailor. That card's actually really damn good. I suppose it's better if you have um, a lot of threats, but alas. No man. That's uh, interesting. For shame. They're playing blue green mill. No? Hmm. This will really this. Do you really think you I've can lost. keep up with me? There we go. Hmm. Or do I just play the Chandra? No, she just straight up dies if I do that. Throwing more. Not worth it. So. Dungeon guys, it is. Tap down their eventual big threat. No attacks. Oh, oh don't mind if I take that. Keep throwing more. I made you. As long as I keep drawing lines here. So, I'm going to be the first one to take advantage of that. And, uh... Oh, what do you know? I learned a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. It's up to... Oh, they're so hey. cute! Let's go ahead and, uh... Start trying to hit down that Tezzeret, shall we? They'd be losing some creatures next turn anyway. Let's see how you respond to genius. I'm very tempted to see if I can uh, use this to permanently keep the Nyx Bloom, but it's very bad if it doesn't let me. 
is after I draw, so it's worth noting I can attack here with absolutely no ill effects. Zero my Chandra. Hey, people guys are great. And let's see, that's how much? Four, five, six, seven. Six. Nine. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see. This is two mana. Right, yeah, so I'm pretty sure I can do both. Yep, seven. Yes, I want to gain control of the next bloom. I'm pretty sure that'll let me keep control. I'm just not absolutely positive. Let's give them the envelope. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. With the exception of you. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage, right? Yeah. Also don't mind losing. Oh, I'm not even going to lose my Chandra. What do you know? And here we'll find out if that dancing melody was absolutely wasted or uh, if it did its job. Have to attack. No blocks, no reason to go. Alright, let's do this thing! Excellent. Let's uh, finish them off, shall we? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. One target, two target, three target. That uh, Chaz emulating Inferno was kind of sweet, but also entirely unnecessary. So apparently, gaining control of our opponent's Nyx Bloom Ancient is very good. Not having to pay the uh, mana to cast it, just paying four for Nyx Bloom. Something I uh, would definitely do again. On the play, it's not amazing, but I'm gonna keep it. I've got a Scryland and I've got a Legion War Boss with some uh, top end threats I really want to resolve. Yeah, I'll keep some interaction. Mountain. I'm gonna play out all my red sources so that uh, if I need to on curve a slaying fire. It'll be pretty good. Hopefully oh, this isn't about to Alright, no removal. Well, if that's how I get the bane fire out of my opponent's hand, I am more than happy to do it. Especially because things are only going to get worse from there, opponent. Fire spell. Alright, what's your second spell? Bastion? Go for it. Here comes Sarkin. Let us fight! I am the dragon. Magnificent! I'll trade. I don't mind, sir. And a rotting red sword. Okay. So now... 
do I play Ugin and Uptick? I think I do. Because it'll give me a body to block the Rotting Regisaur. I'll block the Rekindling Phoenix. Um, that'll come back, but... Hmm. Because the other thing I might do is a Crow and more the Rekindling Phoenix. Huh. I think I'd rather play the Ugin. And uptick, although it is very, very risky. Dragon and gains flying? Hmm. Doesn't say anything about preventing damage though. And thus, no attacks. Alright, good. The other reason for doing, uh, for not, by the way, a crow and warring, is I want to make sure that this survives a little bit longer. I will consume you! Goodbye, my dragon. I'm sorry. Especially because it'll come back with haste. Alright, is that end step or actually no? Upkeep. Alright, never mind. I was being dumb. Luckily, doesn't matter. Can't do anything about this. I would call the dragons. Except for you. Actually, no, you too. If you get blocked, I'm perfectly fine with that. My opponent can't just throw. I want to make my land drop. So, here, 2 2. Nice. Secrets manifest before you. Just pay, however. And I think I'll then play the Kraken. Midnight clock, uh, probably not going to be in this game. Archer not bad. Crow and War, if they don't play another creature, just kills them next turn, so. Uh -oh. I imagine we're losing our Sarkin here. No? Watch this! This is not my first ending. So let's see. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just barely. They managed to survive. Shame that. Yeah, I'd still like to drop a Crown War over the uh, permanent gain control of Entrancing Melody. I think the ability to keep them tapped out is going to be a little more relevant here than keeping it for one extra turn. That's over. Don't do anything. Alright. I thought uh, the Crone War was like the usual red gain control uh, spells and that it would, you know, give haste and uh, all that. 
alas, it is a little bit different. Continuing along, though. <laughs> we got to where we were last time. Two wins, and uh, then we stopped winning. Let's see if we can get a few more this time. With a slightly more interactive and slightly uh, less absurdly greedy mana base. Hmm. Removal. Can trip. No, I can't convince myself to keep that. Right, much better. Inferno, we don't have walkers yet, so goodbye. You do still need to draw lands. Island. Make them think there might be a counter spell so they might not deploy their best threat. Okay, so here. I don't like it if my Legion War boss gets uh, killed pre combat, but so be it. Not like there's anything I can do about it. I just don't like letting my opponent use their mana efficiently if I can avoid it. Right. More interaction, not bad. Commence the end game's gonna be pretty good here. I was worried they are going to reanimate something this turn. Glad to see I worried in vain. Yeah, I'll be fine with a 6-6. Six, six. about a fairy or something coming down. Yeah, I've got him. I can just kill it and deploy anything else after. And I don't want my hand size to go down before I make the token. If it dies, so be it. It still gave me a decent amount of card advantage. The trick is to take the removal spell you Training want to so hard. Dang. Been nice to be able to just Chandra without having to kill the Brain Maggot. Oh. Things I don't want. Mutiny. Deploy the Chandra. Hey, don't start any fires without me. Bin. Nothing I want yet. Don't worry, I brought company. And end the turn. Prison realm's annoying. I'm burnt out. I was hoping to uh, commence the end game again with her. Debating on using intervention to kill the Sahili, I think I'm gonna have to at some point. I'm just debating if that point is now. Just 
so it's twice x, so that's two, four, six. Yep. Yep. We live to fight another day. And let's see if this thing survives. Pretty sure they know what I put back, just out of what would be good and what would not be good in this matchup. Oof, more card advantage for them. It's gonna be bad for me. Alright. To me, that means do what we can while we can. Or does it mean just accept that we're going to lose some cards? Would I rather have the Akroan War later? <coughs> or... Hmm. This is a toughie. Because I can just take that now. I will 100% lose Entrancing Melody. Yeah, I don't think there's any real benefit to just taking a 1-1 and losing both of our interactive spells. I was debating on, like, just casting them both here, but it's kind of pointless. Could really go for that uh, uncounterable Chandra about now. But not gain control. That's more like dungeon geist annoying. That one might be the end of me. Let's see, I'm gonna drop that. It's not Chandra 6. Maybe their hand is only lands. Yeah, that was definitely too much task. It's kinda nice I got him to use a board wipe on only one creature, but uh... Phew. Lands. Lands! Hope that Tectonic Giant resolves, I guess. Oof, it's extra annoying, because that doesn't even trigger our giant. What kind of things could they get back? I guess only a brain maggot or a secretly. <laughs> oh, thank god, it's only a library. I was gonna say, any card they drafted but decided not to play? Uh, that's, uh, it's gonna be a little bit harsh. Alright. Okay. First up, 
I 100% need this to not die. <coughs> Second up. I could use that uh, angel as a bit of a blocker here for a few. Oh. Alright, disdainful stroke. The card is good. Pretty sure that was our only help there. Well, this ain't getting better from here. <laughs> this isn't a fight. Hurry! <laughs> Trying to think of what we even have that might be able to deal with a uh, Teferi, a Sigil, and any amount of board presence, honestly. It's not telling me how many cards are in their deck, though. Well, at one point that might have helped, but uh, I think we are well past that point now. Let's start at a sizzle and see if and you make it to the inferno. I know this isn't going to help me. But it is me? the only is it thing a I can warm do in for here? now. I have sweepers and just need to hope that I draw and resolve one. So that I can uh, use Chakra to present the fastest possible clock. Things, you and I. She doesn't die on a single turn, so I'm hoping here. Minus three. You need to slow down. So be it. Definitely happy that they chose to minus. It means that if I draw Storm's Wrath, it's actually useful. And that it will kill the Teferi, which is the biggest threat I have right now. Oh well. Might as well work towards my daily quests. See if the opponent decides to try and toy with their food, which would be a huge mistake. Nope. Smart yeah, so a storm trap there would have put us right back into this if they didn't have anything to uh, counter. Wipe clean their board, deal with the Teferi. We would eventually draw the uh, Chandra again. Midnight Clock would have still been a really good draw. Um, if it were after. Okay, let's go right back in. And hope we don't just, uh, peter out at two wins in cube draft. Every single time. Opponent goes first. Yeah, I'll keep this one. Got a Mind Stone and a Sark. And a Midnight Clock. Huh. I think that might actually change what I'm, uh, the order I'm planning on casting things in. Because, let's see, if I go Midnight Clock plus, or Mindstone plus Midnight Clock, Afterlife, debating on Tectonic Giant or Midnight Clock. If I, tech, if I Midnight Clock, I can Sarkon for sure next turn, but I have a chance at Ugin. Hmm. I think I'm going to just get on board. In the hopes I'll be able to uh, hit a land drop with this. So that I can uh, just be a little safer in my Sarkhani. Alright, so I would have been able to in this turn. Alas. I'm just going to do 3 damage. I don't want to just uh, exile cards this turn. There we go. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely got a little greedy there. Alright. Here comes Sarkin. 
and his dragon. Has arrived. So I was doing three damage there because I already had my play lined up. Um, shame that. Find visitation. Okay, now I'm terrified. Because they're going to attack and get angels. <laughs> But after life two, uh, two angels. Roar. Okay. Okay. Um. One, two, three, four. All right, sweet. One target. Two target. Three target. This is totally fair. Great. And I'm pretty sure we got this on our turn. Yep, the opponent has just decided to uh, end themselves. Alright, so that was a pretty good game. Got to, uh, just to really aggro my opponent out there. Who wants a turn 3 Legion War boss when it can be a turn 3 uh, Tectonic Giant? Opponent definitely messed up by not immediately desparking the Tectonic Giant. <laughs> if you're going to do it anyway, you uh, definitely should have done it sooner rather than later. I absolutely adore this hand. I have Bone Crusher on 2, War Boss on 3. And if I don't draw another land, and they deploy a creature, I might just fire prophecy instead to. Oh, oh, okay. Gotta ruin what I'm saying, don't you, opponent? Do I zero value cycle shark typhoon? Uh oh. This game, the opponent is ramping. Yep. All right. actually a tough one. Do I just zero value cycle? I think I do because I need to interact next turn and I need to hit land drops. So this is kind of my only opportunity to uh, for sure cycle. It sucks I didn't get to, you know, get the value out of it. But I did need to get card draw in case I didn't draw into it. Let's see. I'll pass turn. I plan on bone crushing Thalia um, during combat on their turn. Maybe pre combat I should hit Lonery. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna change up my plan and pre combat hit Lonery so they don't get to uh, deploy a 6 drop here. I just think 6-drop here definitely loses us the game. Oh. Huh. Just small stuff. Alright. Temple Epiphany. I'll definitely take an Entrancing Melody. And deploy it on pressure. There we go. We've set up a not very sturdy defense. Especially considering... Yeah, Kiln Fiend Thalia is a little weird to me, though. Like, no offense, opponent, I'm just, uh, a little bit confused. If it untapped... <laughs> this is awkward. What would I take here? If I entrancing melody, what do I take? Do I Legion War Boss here? Entrancing melody, I think I just take the Knight of Grace. Which is very risky, mind you, but I think it's what I do. Actually. 
I think instead I have crone. Wait. Hex proof from black. Yeah, it's, I thought it said can't be targeted in the bottom, and I was uh, confused. Like, wait, isn't that from black, not red? So this is this was a uh, risky play, but I think it was the right one. It is risky in that if they have a non-creature. Yep, I was dead anyway, though. Um, there's no way I can stop myself from dying to Bane Fire. Plus, they have even one creature. Um, but I was saying it was risky because leaving the Kiln Fiend does mean it leaves the opportunity for them to uh, play any non-creature and then kill me. But I think the upside of um, just the potential of not taking the damage if they don't have it was a little bit bigger. I just don't think they can play too many non-creatures in a Thalia deck. Um, outside of removal, at least. <coughs> on the play, Midnight Clock on 3, Sarkin on 4. Yeah. If I don't draw land, I, uh, I'm going to be forced into cycling Shark Typhoon for no value again on 2. And that would really suck. Getting down an early midnight clock, though, is going to be kind of nice. Alright. Zero value shark typhoon cycle. Likely we missed two land drops in a row, but if we did, it would have been a absolute disaster. And that's why we ended up uh, cycling the shark typhoon. Last now. Mentor of the Moon. Damn it. What's happening with that clock there? Just don't worry about it. Nothing, nothing to do to Feel the heat of my flame! <laughs> really am a fan of Sarkin. Five mana, four, four flyer that has a significant upside is how I like to view it. Are you a mono white opponent? Uh oh. Oh, that's not gonna go how you would want it to, opponent. You didn't read Sarkin, did you? Come on! I will consume you! Oh, I get to keep the Sarkin? Whew! They are coming! That's a uh, ominous there, buddy. I'll only attack with you, though. Because I'd rather not have to, uh, use my Bone Crusher yet. I'd rather be able to put some counters on my Midnight Clock. Potentially kill something more relevant. And again, Mentor is pretty much the most relevant threat there is. Out of a White Weenie deck, just drawing them. Cards. Oh well. Yeah, that's a little more important. You can go ahead and draw. I'm uh, not letting that one live. Teshar is a little terrifying. Now I can attack with all. I summon you. Um, yeah. No need to deploy the Bone Crusher itself yet. Fire Prophecy and counters on Midnight Clock. For shame. Okay. 
use your last mana. Alright, there we go. Now that they're tapped out, I know I'm safe here. Come on! Don't need the dungeon ghost. Okay, so one, so four, five. Not quite lethal there. So I'll make a dragon. Behold! Drop a war boss. Kill their creature. And pass the turn. Opponent is very dead. We're about to draw a fresh seven. And we have a uh, quite a command and board presence. They're just getting their daily quest in by casting circle. Alright. So even if our opponent wasn't at one life there, we still were in an absolutely demanding position. Even a wrath wouldn't have really uh, helped them out too much there. Alright, we're almost. Alright, so one more win, and we get our investment back. Any number of wins beyond that, and it is all profit. Alright, let's see. Say the nay. It sounds blue, but, uh... I don't know. I think they like counter spells. Hmm. On the play, this hand is really, really iffy. First interaction being three mana. I guess Tectonic Giant's a really good threat to stop the bleeding, and on the play, I don't need to be as concerned about um, falling behind. Still need to be concerned about it. Don't take that as a dismissal of the possibility. Just not as concerned. Like, basically, um, I can take a mana off of all of these. And treat them like that. At least it'd be uh, how it is on the draw. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. Take a mana off of them is how it would be if it were on the draw. No, what I'm saying makes absolutely no sense, and I realize this now. Please disregard me. Shall deploy the Tectonic Giant. This time I don't really have any plays lined up. So, if it survives for an attack, I'll start uh, exiling cards to use them. And just kind of take the card advantage I can get. Alright. I was worried that our opponent had, uh... Wait, really? Why are you sacrificing? No. Like that land tapped for any color itself. I guess they're deck thinning. So they have plenty of lands in hand. I'm concerned. Golos 100% needs to die. And needs to do so basically immediately. Well, there's only one I can use, so I'll be very sad about this. Alright, very happy that they blocked there. If they hadn't, this could have been a actual problem. Let's see, actually. Hmm.
debating on if I want to Perforos and Warboss. Black, blue, white, green, red. They are straight up five color. Debating on how likely sweepers are. And how likely I am to want this for something bigger. I think I'll take the tempo and just double threat here. I really wish I could have done that pre-combat, but alas, none of that would have worked pre-combat. Had I shocked the Golos, um, I wouldn't have gotten a threat. I have no guarantees for land. Yeah, Scorching Dragonfire seems about right. Quick guard mage. Move along, nothing to see here. Attack. Exile. Infinite sadness here. I'm exiling all of my best cards that I can't cast yet. At least I can Chandra next turn. So sad. One of them exiled Sarkon before I could cast at the other Ugin. Those are my two best cards. <laughs> Sacrifice is a creature. For shame, opponent. For shame. Oh. Well. Um, yeah. I don't need to slang fire it. Not yet, at least. Not when that is a much, much bigger problem. That needs to go. I know that the Chandra down tick still kills it, but I'd rather uh, not have to instantly down tick. I'd rather Chandra down tick. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? Let's get to Now use that Jaya's Emily again. Alright. My legendary is quickly plummeting. Oh, that needs to go. Okay. They don't have a legendary we can take to use Jaya's. Do we want to gain control of that? I think, yeah, we'd rather gain control of the Dragon Master Outcast. It's six lands? Yep. Don't mind if I do. And... I could still mutiny, but it wouldn't really do anything. I'd kill a 1-1. One -one. Which I guess is a turn off the clock. But I'd rather take a turn off the clock. No blocks. The right calls for dead. No worries there. I thought that was a try land and I was concerned. So I put my opponent trying to hit. So here I am tempted to swing with the Dragon Master Outcast. But. No, I think it's better. If I. Wait on that. 
dungeon guy, just what do I not care if lives? Right, so I suppose that... Here's where I let the Dragon Master out cast die. Because I lose control of it anyway. And there is absolutely no way that I want my opponent to uh, <coughs> have access to that. So, lock and kill. Lock. Uh, Dragon Master Outcast, you definitely are not missed. Uh oh. Okay. Scary. Very, very scary. Definitely use a Storm's Wrath. Target creature. They don't have the mana. Okay, good. Target creature deals damage to target creature. Excellent. Nothing I could do with one. So, no attacks. And turn. Excellent. Now, despite everything, I think we might actually be in a winning position. Shame Clock has to exile itself, though. Block there. Fire prophecy there. Good bet that. Hello, Dungeon Guest. Mine stone first. Nidir Kraken. No need to attack. If our opponent tries out any removal. Such as. Then we grow beyond. Auto pet. Should have waited for them to target. Whew. Auto pet. Alright. Minus five here, not plus two. Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. That Niv Mizzet is not allowed to live. Bye bye It's uh whew, a little concerning. So be it. We're losing Jaius. There's no way around it. If our opponent takes anything else, they're insane. Jaius just, like, straight up kills them. Yeah, having eight damage split three ways. Not a... Not something you want to happen to you. 
make a 1-1 one, because one, I want to get a two card drawing here. I suppose I actually should have waited. I'd rather had the token. Oh, definitely. Like someone's getting and let's see. Sweaty. So it'd be x equals eight. I'm done. And just get in there for lethal. Drawing seven cards, I call that really damn good. Midnight clock to the rescue. And what do we have here? D Spark. Alright, so now if we get another win, we've actually made a profit here. Let's see if we can turn a profit in cube draft. With blue, red, good stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> Opponent goes first, makes this, uh, kinda suspect. Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan for something that's a little more interactive. Storm's Wrath is definitely good here. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't want the mutiny. Storm's Wrath is, uh, definitely where it's gonna be at on turn four. <laughs> Which makes this a uh, little annoying for how I'm gonna have to deal with Dragon Master. Oh boy. There's an adult Vanguard. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> Hopefully, they deploy some other threats so we're not just forced into Tectonic Giant. Oh, giving it lifelink. Okay. Nightmare unlocked. Lifelinking Adonto Vanguard. An Adonto Vanguard that does not, in fact, cost our opponent life whenever they attack, or try to keep it alive. To mention, our opponent doesn't seem to be drawing more cards. Meaning I'm quite terrified of whatever inspired them to keep this hand. I think here, we're just going to be forced into Tectonic Giant. The Kraken has a chance of living, but... Uh, through the Storm's Wrath, I mean. But this is also kind of an emergency. We need to draw something here. If our opponent has removal, I'd like to be able to do something. Oh, I'm going to regret this, aren't I? I guess I'll take the Bone Crusher Giant. Opponent is now hitting land drops. So, on the night. And then deploy Nadir Kraken. I will not start using next turn because I need to Ugin and start making two twos. Guess I should have played the Bone Crusher then. Alright. Adonto Vanguard. Not a card we can actually interact with very well. If our opponent has more removal, we are, in fact, just dead. So let's hope that's not the case. Do not defy the designs of an elder dragon. Truth lies beyond oh. All right. 
Entrancing melody will do it, I guess. Crankle. Uh oh. Kill Rankle. And gain control of their Adanto. I believe so. What will I discard? Well, let's see. What is the plan for next turn? Um, so one, two. I don't need the land very much. Your past is unwritten. Hello, Danto. Don't want more lands, thank you very much. I do, however, want this Dragon Master to live. If we get to untap with their Adanto Vanguard here, we're in an incredibly powerful position. Alright, and there you have it. Gaining control of Adopto Vanguard <laughs> ends the game. I suppose the Ugin and the Dragon Master Outcast had something to do with it as well, but uh... Yeah. Alright, we have turned a profit. Can we turn the full profit? Let's find out. I'd very much like to get 6,000 gold instead of 5,000. Let's not be uh, too greedy here. Though, uh, let's just be happy no matter what happens. On the play... Field of Rune is fixing technically. But... Mm, yeah, this one I, I just can't manage to convince myself that was a good hand. I'll keep this. I'll get rid of the mutiny. Mindstone is good early, and it's good uh, at not being a problem late. Now, if we can draw a tech I guess Tectonic John doesn't do anything here. By all means, go for it, opponent. I do not mind. I was going to say draw a tectonic giant, but I uh, realized we don't have the red man for that. I don't mind your 1-1. One, one. I don't mind you C dashing onto it. But I do mind it existing. Goodbye, slang fire. Let's also just go ahead and uh, not waste time on what we know we're doing here. <laughs> Which is just not dealing with, you know, Castle Adonto. Or Ardenvale, not Adonto. Not ready to sacrifice Mindstone yet. Is a 3-3 worth it, or do I wait a turn? What I draw will be worth it. I've got to remember to think of, uh... Commence the end game. Less to say... Uh... Creature, and more as say... Card advantage spell. Where one of the cards just happens to be, uh... A smaller creature, in this case. I could have thrown one here and get in for some damage. Or I could start putting counters on Midnight Clock, so. I think I'd rather do that. 
Also, pretty sure I thought that, that was uh, something sick for some reason. I am a fool. Alright. Can't stop the blink of an eye. So I'm not going to play Dragon Master, I'm pretty sure they have a counter spell. So what I'm gonna do instead is a Crow and War. Their lead guard mage. And see if I can draw out that counter. Just gonna waste their mana here. Could have also been that, I suppose. Kill it on their turn. I'm gonna give them full opportunity to uh, do anything they might want with it first. There we go. Legion War Boss is pretty good here, but I think the Dragon Master is a little better. No real reason to kill their creature now that I think about it. Alright, this game has been full of misplays, but I think we're so far ahead that it just doesn't even begin to matter. Play, then slaying fire. Actually, let's slaying fire, then play. We'll attack with everything except Dragon Master here. They are digging for answers. Card advantage is indeed important. And uh, I think what they need is a wrath and a white source with which to cast said wrath. Some debate as to whether or not I crack my mind stone. Pretty sure I'd rather save it for the first claw. Again, if I can just deploy both on my turn. This time it truly is an all attack. One one counter on let's not grow the Dragon Master. It's a big enough threat, uh, all on its own, and I'd rather not make the removal spell even better than it needs to be. This is sick. For a turn, at least. Turn. So be it.
And there we have it. We have gotten all of the wins. <clears throat> and what have we here? Gauntlets of Life. Let's claim our glorious win. Hey, wait a second. Did we not receive our cards? What the? That's weird. For shame. Oh well, uh, weird arena glitch, but uh, <laughs> I guess I don't really mind. I got the gold and that's all I actually cared about. Maybe I got them and I just didn't notice. Let's see. I think I clicked through it too quickly. Just going here to check. Alright, so we got Open the Graves. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature. And I believe another D-Spark? Hmm. Alright, well, that's all we have time for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps the channel grow and I would appreciate it a lot. I also really enjoy responding to your comments. I will respond to absolutely every single one, no matter how negative. Uh, as long as it's not from a bot, so please do that. It's just something I enjoy. And have a nice day.